I'm Luca. I'm the very grateful co-owner of Restaurant Mochone with my lovely fiance, Maxime Landry. And together we have opened this tiny little place not too far from our house, of which we're very happy to be here. And it's the beginning of what hopefully is a long uh, restaurant adventure. Mochone is uh, the nickname they give my family uh, back in Italy. And Mochone basically it sums up to like a, a little shithead. So apparently we're a family of shitheads, it seems. And I thought the name was just perfect because we wanted to have a restaurant where we just do whatever we want and not really uh, not really take it too, too seriously. So I figured we'd all be a bunch of shitheads here and in the end we really are. So the name fits everybody perfectly. Montrealers have it good. We have some of the best restaurants in the country and we're in the top of the, of the international. So I think opening a restaurant in Montreal takes a particular amount of guts and, um, and a little bit of madness too. Knowing that something is so difficult and choosing to do it anyway, I think is a good representation of the passion that you have for, for that thing in particular. Selling food and making a profit off it is not an easy thing to do, but the satisfaction of cooking and making people taste what we have, especially that what we make here is, is as honest as we can possibly make it, I think that overcomes that, um, that risk. You know, there's an emotional factor when you open something like a restaurant. You don't do it because you want to make a buck. You don't do it because you want to become rich. You do it because you just, you truly, deep down in your gut, you like it. I've always liked having people over. I think I throw pretty decent parties in my little tiny apartment. Uh, I grew up in a family where eating was the, 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 the focus of any, of any day or evening or, or event. So to replicate that in, in a business, it's a no-brainer. I think Maxim and I are good at it. I think we're good hosts, or we're becoming good hosts. And in the end, we do it because we love it. It was very important for us to have a restaurant that didn't resemble a restaurant too much. We put the floors in, we built the tables ourselves. We really wanted it to feel like you were coming into our house. It's very important for us. The music that we put here is music that we like to listen to. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit inappropriate to a certain extent, but it makes us feel like we're in our home and people are our guests. We're all very positive people. We work very hard. Uh, we all get along, we all respect each other immensely. We've all known each other for a long time too. Some of us go back almost 10 years, so it's very fun to work with people that, that you know, that you, can, that you can rely on, and the chemistry that is built is felt by the clients, I think. Lavorare a Mocione è una cosa uh, molto differente da tutti i posti in cui ho lavorato in vita mia. È lavorare in famiglia, e con degli amici, ma allo stesso tempo a livello professionale è imparare molte cose in poco tempo e essere molto efficaci. Io ho conosciuto Luca molti anni fa, quando era molto più giovane e aveva un'altra mentalità, assolutamente. Io lavoravo in un altro ristorante, eh, ci siamo conosciuti, poi non ci siamo più rivisti per un sacco di tempo. E un giorno a caso ho fatto un catering, l'ho rivisto e stando vicino a Luca, in poco tempo, in tre giorni, mi è ritornata la voglia di cucinare. E lo dico con sincerità perché questo ragazzo ha una uh, particolare eh, sensibilità nella cucina. E a Montreal e nel Nord America, essendo italiano, è molto difficile trovare 
la stessa persona o il modo di fare di Luca e anche Maxim perché a volte viene a mancare un po' la tradizionalità nel prodotto e nella passione delle cose vere proprio nella pasta fresca, nei ravioli, nelle cose semplici e Luca rispecchia per me questa, questo modo di fare che mi ha portato a divertirmi in un, in un posto fantastico dove puoi scherzare e ridere ma allo stesso tempo essere super professionale. Maxim and I went on a six month journey across the United States in a camper. Confined to this tiny space together for a long period of time and it had its ups and downs, it was not easy, but we made it through and in the end I would do it all over again. In order to be with someone 24 hours a day, seven days a week, work, family, personal uh, amusement and everything involved, you just have to get along and you just have to respect each other and we do. So it's, it has its challenges, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I'd rather be with Maxim 24 hours a day than not, in all honesty. I'm not gonna lie, um, working with Luca was and is challenging because your personal life, your professional life, your personal goals becomes one. So it can get a bit messy. We're both intense people, very passionate about what we're doing. We have like, big aspiration too, so very conscious of what we do. But it's also great because you get to work with someone who knows you more than anybody else, knows your strength and your weakness. And it's just, it, it's very creative too, because sometimes the best brainstorm or creative discussion happen at the middle of the night. It's just great to work as a couple, as a team for like the same goals. for me to be present in the community as much as possible because one, I'm from here, and two, the restaurant is for the people of Villeray. I truly want to support uh, the local economy. It's important for me. I get my coffee from Vito. I get my produce from the Jean Talon market. I even get my meat from the Jean Talon market. I, we, we get as much as we can from a very small radius. We want people that live in the area to have this restaurant. The local mentality is the way to go if we want to have a sustainable business, if we want to have a good impact on our environment. Another reason why we buy local is because of the quality of the ingredients. Uh, the food that we want to serve is very simple, it's very straightforward. We don't transform it much. I think that's the essence of Italian food for the most part. So that would be the Italian aspect of this restaurant. I don't want to strictly say that we're an Italian restaurant because I think you need to be in Italy to be an Italian restaurant, in all honesty. But we have the Italian spirit, the Italian philosophy with a Montreal food. The food here is homemade as much as possible uh, because we're proud of making things in-house. You know, like our own guanciale and uh, we make all the pastas by hand. Uh, we even have an extractor so we can make bucatini, which is just... Bucatini, for example, is one of those things that I like so much that it's not necessary to have on the menu, but I just, I won't, like I wanted it and we all wanted it and the staff all is like super excited about making bucatini and it's the, it's the simplest thing but you know what it makes us happy that's the meaning of bucatini it's, it's, it's because there is a, a buco a hole inside the, the pasta so the sauce can go inside and uh, you know you can dance with the pasta it's all about uh, the pasta and the sauce that uh, dance and play together you know? some chefs will say that they make love some others they'll say that they play they dance it's all references to And each pasta has its own recipe and each recipe gets fine-tuned consistently. We're always in the quest of how could it be just a bit better? Because it's so simple, it's naked, you know? It's got no clothes to hide behind. 
unique. So it needs to be that good. We make things that we would like to eat, that we would like to be served. I really want to be that place where anybody would say, where do you feel like going? Oh, I really feel like going to Mochone. It's important for me. And I think by serving honest food, not pretentious, just as tasty as possible, I think, I, I think we're on the right path. The sensation of, of, of so far so good in Montreal is very, uh, is very satisfying to know that we are accepted and we are taken seriously in a city where there's an abundance of restaurants. Fuck, I don't remember what I said. See, now we gotta cut. Out of town and roll.